the government decided to pull the plug on uh, metro construction in Budapest. And I had to make a decision at the time whether I wanted to stay in the industry or, or follow the industry wherever I can find jobs. And since I came from the so-called communist countries from Hungary, uh, luckily uh, the company also faced the same uh, question or the problem what I have. And we started to look for work overseas. And we won a tender to the Calcutta Metro in 1980. We were the technical advisors to Hindustan Construction on the board tunnel sections of the Calcutta Metro. Uh, the section 4B, and I was sent out as an expert at the age of 32. Well, you can consider how much an expert I was, but at least I knew a certain type of job in the industry. And uh, I spent five years in Calcutta uh, with Hindustan Construction, uh, building uh, two parallel tunnels in blue marine clay, also in compressed air. I was the only one who was able to operate the, the medical lock on the site. And when I called up our hyperbaric specialist doctor in Budapest, telling him that I'm the only one who operates the uh, airlock, the medical lock, what happens if I get the bends? And after a little silence, he said, we will just take you off the list. It was not very encouraging, but luckily I managed it in such a way that we never used the medical lock on that project because I was very, very careful in the compression times. And So it was, it was a successful project in a way. It was that slow because the Indians were not used to working in this environment. And any time when I came out of the compress there, everybody else came out with me and said, you cannot work this way, you have to stay in and, and excavate. So it, it lasted a lot longer than we expected, but eventually, since the contract was signed in Swiss golden francs, we didn't lose money because it appreciated so much that it covered the longer time. So that was my first real overseas job in India and interesting enough uh, a second time I was uh, called back because there were visitors looking at what we were doing and there, was, there were German visitors and they called me up and asked that uh, another project in, in Calcutta in the same metro uh, run into trouble which were running blade shields and would I come back and, and uh, deal with it and I decided to go back and by that time the system in Hungary was open enough so that I could go overseas without climbing under a wired fence or anything like that. So I just got a, a, a possibility to, to work on my own. So I joined this small German company and they seconded me to Calcutta again. I had to lift up a nosedive uh, shield and, and drop it through under a railway embankment in, in ground, which was more like toothpaste than, than, than soil, but I managed to do it. And interesting enough, the same German fellow who, uh, I can say his name, Werner Goetz, who was working for Lahmeyer, one of the big German consultants, uh, called me up and said, look, I am now working for the, on the Channel Tunnel. I am the bank's technical rep representative who uh, landed the money for it. Uh, do you want to work on the Channel Tunnel? At first I thought he was joking. 